Hi, I'm Joe James. In this video, I'm going to walk you through an automated license plate recognition system that I wrote in Java. And you're wondering probably why did you do this in Java instead of Python, which is more, much more popular for machine learning. So I'm going to explain to you um, some of my design choices here. I really wanted to design a very fast, lightweight system that could be used for edge computing uh, with low memory consumption, uh, low power consumption, low processing requirements. And so I chose Java because it's considerably faster than Python. I chose to write a nearest neighbor algorithm rather than a, a convolutional neural network, which is much more popular for license uh, plate recognition. Because the nearest neighbor algorithm is considerably faster than the neural network, and it takes a lot less processing and memory power. And I also chose to use a really, really small training data set that you'll see is still pretty accurate. So my system is very low power, lightweight, yet extremely fast and accurate. And that, that's why I chose to do it this way. Now the trade-off is that my input has to be basically a cropped, framed license plate just like this. So you have to get to this point for my system to work. I can't have like a tilt or skew or a, you know an angled plate. You have to correct all that before you input the plate into my license plate reader. So that, that's kind of the trade-off. So in the end, a convolutional neural network might still be the way to go. And I may, may code one in, a, in using a CNN later. But for now, I want to explain my nearest neighbor algorithm for reading license plates. Now, there are a lot of different license plates. and uh, it's very, very difficult to write a license plate reader that can read any plate and recognize the characters on it. it why? Because there are a lot of different background images going on, color schemes. Some of them have dark letters on a white background like this one. Others have uh, light letters on a dark background. Some have characters right in the middle here that are they're not part of the license plate, like Florida's plate. Uh, so it's, some of them are very difficult to read, and then they're different shapes and sizes too, international plates. So it's really challenging to write a single license plate reader program that can read any license plate. That's, that's, uh, that's pretty challenging. And yeah, I could do it, but to account for all those different cases, my code would have to be very bloated. It would slow down the performance. I'd need a much, much bigger training data set. And it would take a lot more memory and, and a lot more operating time. So I chose to focus first just on doing California plate because I live in California. So let's first just focus on doing a California license plate. We'll read that using a pretty fast, efficient, low memory uh, algorithm. So the first thing I found is that just using a Google search, I found that uh, California license plates use the penitentiary gothic font. Now, a bunch of other license plates do too, so it's not going to just be able to read California plate, but it may have lower accuracy for other states. And what I decided to do, instead of using a whole bunch of different license plate images as my training data set, that would work, but I don't want to put in 10,000 license plates with labeled data to use as my training set because it's going to be huge. <laughs> And it's going to take a lot of time to process for each license plate. And you want to be able to process a license plate and, and identify the number on it real time in milliseconds, not in seconds. So I used the penitentiary gothic font as my training data set. And I really just used basically A through Z and 0 through 9. So 36 digits, 36 characters in my training data set. And that's it. Really, really small training data set that is extremely fast. Now, the first thing I did, given a license plate, is I want to crop off the top part and the bottom part of the plate and just isolate these characters in the, the plate number. So I assume that the plate is properly rotated and skew adjusted and everything else so that I can find this line here and crop off the top part of the plate and the bottom part of the plate and just have these numbers. And then I'm going to slice the numbers out vertically so we can isolate each number. So here we have seven digits, seven characters, each one isolated. Right? We're finding first the horizontal demarcation to isolate those numbers, and then the vertical lines. 
so that we can get just a single character and then feed that into the character identification scheme using a nearest neighbor algorithm that we're going to write. To do that first though, we're going to shrink these digits down to 20 by 43 pixels. We want them to be small and this size kind of makes sense where we still have enough enough pixels to accurately identify a digit, 860 pixels total, but the fewer pixels we have in the image, the faster it's going to process because you got to compare this to all the known labeled data in our data set, our training set. So we're going to use a 20 by 43 pixel image for both the training data, which we're going to shrink down to this size, and also the images on the license plate. Once we get them cropped like this, we're going to shrink them down to this size, and then we can do the comparisons. So the comparisons will go much faster the fewer pixels we have, but you have to have enough pixels so that you can have an accurate identification. Now our training set, like I said, is the penitentiary gothic font. I just looked this up on the web. Um, got some screenshots of all uppercase, alpha, and numeric. And this is what we got. And I basically saved these as four JPEG files on my computer. So A through J, K through T, U through Z, and then uh, 0 through 9. So I have four JPEGs with these basically training images in them. And then I wrote an algorithm to load the training set that's going to do exactly what I just said. It's going to slice off the top and bottom, because there's some white space here that you can't see on, in this image, but there's white space. So it's going to crop, crop off the top and bottom uh, of the image, and then it's going to slice off right and left so that you just get a 20 by 43 pixel image of each character. It's going to load that into the training set, and then it's going to label it, because I've got labels uh, A through Z and 0 through 9, so it's loading them in that order. So that's our training data. That's entirely the training data. And it's basically just the penitentiary gothic font taken from a screenshot on the web. That's it. And I'm not using license plates in my training set, at least not at this point. So like I said, this is a lean, fast, efficient system. So our process here for the license plate reader system is to load the training data, which I just showed you, open license plate image, similar to the one I just showed you. Convert the image to grayscale. Resize the image to a 200 pixels high. So shrink the image, in other words, to 200 pixels high only. Then we're going to crop out the top and bottom so we just get that, that row of numbers and, and uh, eliminate the rest of the, the upper and lower part of the license plate. Then we're going to resize it to 43 pixels high. We want to boost the contrast so that the numbers kind of jump off of the plate. And then we're going to find the character edges for cropping, like I showed you. We're going to isolate each character so that we can crop out each one of the characters. And lastly, we're going to feed each of the characters into the character recognition system, the nearest neighbor algorithm. So that's going to be our process. So there's a lot of like image processing stuff going on here to isolate and grab those characters. And I covered a lot of these algorithms in previous videos. I've done about, I think, maybe eight or 10 different videos on image processing, you know, how to convert to grayscale, how to resize an image. Uh, we also learned how, in previous videos, to apply a Gaussian blur to an image. And we're going to use all of those in the license plate recognition system. So I'm not going to cover those again in detail in this video. However, all of the code is going to be available on GitHub. I'm going to put the link below uh, to the GitHub site where you can download the code and run it and try it out. You can tinker with the code all you want. And my next video, will I'll show you how to load the training data and we'll get started. I'll probably make a series of maybe three or four videos to cover all this stuff so that you can understand exactly how the license plate recognition system works. So tune in for the next video. I'm Joe James. Thanks for watching.